It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1744, recorded Thursday, September 12th, 2019. High voltage hijinks! This episode of the Gizwiz, we get to find out about the shirt butler. Get out of here, foldy mate. We get to find out what the heck was it, and more of my safety gadgets. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our butler of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> how you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you, how was your trip? It your was trips? Great. Trips, multiple. I went all over. Uh, but yes, it was great. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about any of it. Still under embargo until the oh my gosh. end of the month. Um, but yeah, I had, a, I had a grand time. It was a very, very good. Um, yeah, and I also just booked my trip for New York, New York. Oh, New great, York. great. So I'll be, I definitely, I said that I would be at the meetup, but now 100% confirmed. Otherwise, you know, I won't get my money back on those flights. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, so be there. Uh, and a reminder, we have the meetup on the 23rd of September. 2029th. So I hope you made your flight for the 29th. I don't even know why I said the 23rd. The 29th, yes. You have something to do, I think, on the 23rd, do which I? is why you couldn't do the... <laughs> what? The 23rd? Yeah, it would be... I have, hope you didn't book a hotel and no, a flight. I, for... I, it was definitely the 29th, because I'm okay, okay. leaving New York in, like, October. Um, oh, okay. Because it's so late. Yes. Um, no, what is the 23rd? 23rd, I... Oh, I am actually doing something. Yes. Okay, anyway... Ignore everything I've said and uh, <laughs> go to Dick's blog and log on gizwiz.biz. Find out more information. 29th of September, starting at 2.30? 2, uh, 2 o'clock till 4.30. Uh, and we have almost uh, three dozen people. Wow. Already. Holy moly. Yes. Yeah. Holy moly. So, uh, so anyway, please, if you're going to join, also make sure that you RSVP if you're going to join by just sending us an email, mail at gizwiz.tv. And that way we just know that you're coming so we can yeah. make right it right in the subject line coming plus one coming plus two. Perfect. Whatever you need. Definitely not three. That is just way too many people. <laughs> this is a New York ap apartment. We That's know. right. And backyard. And <laughs> right. It's a whole first floor. We have the whole first floor will be open. So uh, awesome. So don't forget about that. Um, I feel like there's one other thing we need to mention. Uh, oh, next week. Will be on recorded on a Tuesday, uh, so if Correct. you watch the live show, check us next week on Tuesday the seventeenth instead of our normal. Right. Because day. Wednesday there is another toy event. There was a toy event today. Time to play magazine toy event. Um, their fall event is great because they also have pet gadgets. Ooh. So next week I'm going to do three brand new pet gadgets, um, and then Good to see next Charlie, Thursday. I hope. <laughs> and then next Thursday is a, a Pepcom, so that's why we had to uh, move it around. It's the September. Chet, Chet, Chet and I are such busy people. But... <laughs> right. Oh, my. Um, it is the September time. Now everyone's releasing and announcing their stuff. You saw the iPhone announcement? I yes, assume. yes. Um, I'm on the upgrade program, so I'm going to get that phone new. Oh, great. Um, so, yeah, I'll be getting the new iPhone. You're getting the $400 watch? You know, I don't know. Because I have the Series 4, 3. I have the one just previous to the one they just announced. And I really like it, and I wear it every day. Um, and so I really, really do enjoy my Apple Watch. The big new feature is that the screen will always be on. So, that's the... if. I'm getting the $400 watch. That's why. I can use the Apple trade-in program to get $100 for this watch that I am that I have right now. But that would still mean that it's like $330. Yeah. So I'm leaning towards no 
unless unless it becomes a fascination of mine and I start reading <laughs> reviews all the time and then I just have to have it. But um, if, if basically, I'm going to wait till other people have it and see if they really, really, really enjoy the screen on all the time, which I got to say is the biggest headache with this current watch is uh, having the screen turn on when, especially if you're like, you know, on a, laying in bed and you kind of look at your watch. Well, it's not like a standard position. If, if you're standing up and you do this, it almost always turns on. Um, but if you're in some non-standard position, lounging quite a lot or something, your watch might not, not turn on when you're trying to look at it. Um, what's funny is, you know, do you remember the Pebble watch? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, the original e-ink display watch from Kickstarter. I loved that thing. And one of my favorite features was it had this, uh, I don't know what they called it, but you would twist your wrist twice. So you would twist, twist, and then the screen would turn on, no matter what you were doing. That was amazing. I loved it, because in any situation, I could do this and yeah. see the time. And uh, that. so I, ever since switching to the Apple Watch, I've always kind of, it became nature that, okay, I want to check the time. I'll do that with my wrist to make the screen turn on. Um, so I don't know. I'm on the fence okay. of it. I'm on the fence on it. Okay. Okay. But the new phone has ultra wide, the lenses are what I care about. Ultra wide lens, it's normal wide lens and telephoto lens. Those are the things that I'm like, oh, yes, please. And also the fact that they say that the Max gets five hours more battery life oh. over the current generation, which is uh, also exciting. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Was it, did I, did I say the Pebble Watch? Yes. Yeah, the Pebble Watch. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. It was a Batteries. big, big thing at CES when that came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing was great. Uh, I think that's it for... All right, well, let's Join jump in. in with some new gadgets. Uh, first one, well, I won't tell you what it's for because it's, uh, what the heck is it, guess, at the beginning. Ooh. Here you go. Okay. It's time to play What the Heck Is It? Let's see you guess that. Looks like no a idea. fancy no idea nutcracker. I don't know. All right. Does this help at all? It is a handlebar. Okay. All right. These are wing lights, which are turn signals for your bike or scooter, and they're magnetic. So when you leave your bike or scooter, you take them off the handlebars, and you can throw them in your backpack or just wear them so no one takes them. So to install them on your bike, okay, you can uh, see in the show notes that they are expandable. So this is what they look like when you take them out of the package. Uh, they're magnetic, and this is what goes in your bike handle. Now, they're totally adjustable. As you screw this, it makes this rubber gasket fatter. Okay, so you get them to the point where you can slide this onto your handlebar, one on each side, and then you can turn them even more, make them really tight in there. They'll just stay permanently on your bike. But then, so you don't have anybody take them away, you will just click them in magnetically when you're going to start on a trip. Okay, and they're, they're marked right and left. I have to turn them on to position them the way I want them. So, if you're making a turn, you press it once, and now, you know, your hands will be here so the driver behind you or in front of you can see where you're turning. Now I'm gonna shut that off, and I'm gonna hold this in for five seconds. Okay, now I can see that I should position them on my ah. handlebar like that. So now, Cars can see that that's the front of your bike and that this is the back of your bike. And while they are lit, if now you want to make a turn, you hit it once and that's your turn signal. That's quite nice. Okay, so that's pretty neat. We can push that one in for five seconds and orient it once. They're magnetic, so you can just turn them. 
Uh, so now, when you're going down the street at dusk or at dark, uh, people can see you. And then if I'm going left, ta -da! that's the turn signal for that. Now, the company makes two versions. I do not see this online yet. As a matter of fact, it was very funny because I read about it and I called the company and the guy said, Oh, Dick, I'm in Germany. We're at the German bike show. One of the biggest bike shows in Europe. Uh, he said, but I can uh, send you a set via DHL, which he did. He sent two sets. So they make it with the running lights. I'll call them running lights. Uh, and the turn signals. And they also make them just as turn signals. Okay, that's the, these here. Uh, you know, these... Um, you have to pull the little spacer out to get to start the battery. These, the, the new ones, are rechargeable and are brighter than the uh, former model. Now, I don't have a price on this yet. I think they're $10 more than this. And I'm going to correct the, the prices at the end of this because... 3.0. The turn signal blinkers are $66. And they're just five reviews because it's the new version for extra bright LEDs. A uh, double battery life versus the earlier version. Um, Wing like mag from Cycle. If you run down the block, you can put these in your, in your ears. <laughs> in your, <laughs> that, that, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm running. I'm turning that way now. Bye. Bye. I'm going that way. Can you see I'm turning out of here? Uh, that is awesome. I actually they're, really, really like that. They're, um, they're very nicely made. Do the running uh, lights feel like they could be used as a light to light a path or really just so that other things can see you? You know what? I think just so other people can see you. I, I don't think they're bright enough to light your path. Right. Uh, I got to shut that off and then hold it down for – no, I, I think they're – you know, in a very – I'm looking – it puts out – you know what? Since they're magnetic, if you were – on a path that you needed, you could just turn it to have the white light yeah. face down and you'd yeah. get some light from it. Uh, they're very, they're very cleverly, uh, designed there. Oh, uh, so he, I just got an email right before this show. So I didn't get a chance to correct the video. So the complete one rechargeable. And I read the five reviews and, and one guy said, I've been using mine for four months now and they're still fully charged or not fully charged, but don't need to be recharged. Company says, I believe four to six months on one charge. Um, uh, they're 80 bucks, 79.99. If you just want the turn blinkers, the amber blinkers, they're 49.99. And then if you don't want the magnetic uh, setup and all that, the company makes uh, a cheapy version, which is down uh, at $25. That is so, nice. yeah, they're really nice. And the company is called Cycle, C-Y-C-L. Now, I see this on everything it says as seen on Dragon's Den, but I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> It's seen on Dragon's Den. Den. That seems like the so. podcast version of Shark Tank is. Uh, oh, maybe. Dragon's maybe. Den. Dragon's yeah. Den. Oh, that's uh, very funny. That's very funny. Maybe, yeah. I thought maybe it was a video game. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> uh, because otherwise you would know. No, um, I don't know. It seems like it's the BBC version of Shark Tank, apparently. So oh, oh, so. oh, okay. And these okay. must be very big in Europe since he's at. He's in. He was in Germany and. Uh, yes, and and, uh, and uh, when you go to their website, you have to oh. pick. Uh, I, I think they're in. I think they're based in London. Oh yeah, I do see that uh, pounds versus or yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, Euros versus. Uh, uh, US. So psych, uh, cycle wing lights. I think they're pretty neat. Wing lights, interesting. And uh, also, Beatmaster is saying Dragon's Den was out before Shark Tank. So Shark Tank is the uh, knockoff. Oh my so, word! There you go. You learn something every day. Um, yeah, I really, you know, really love these because I can never – now, maybe it's just because I don't do it enough, but I can never remember the turn signals left, right, back, you know, that you're supposed to do. Some places there's even laws that if you're a cyclist, you either have to have a blinker or you have to do your turn signals um, to tell people where you're going. Who can – I, don't know. I mean, pe plenty of people can remember those. I, d I can't remember them. So having an actual <laughs> um, turn signal is amazing. I love that. You all, I also just love, A, the design, 
and B, the design again, because I love that there's no separate mechanism to, to start the blinker, because I could imagine, okay, plug this and put this into your handlebars, now drill an extra hole for a wire to come up yeah, through, right, and then yeah, you have exactly. a little, you know, you have little things to go left or right, so you just hit the button, you know, as you're as you're riding, just push the button on which way you're going to turn. Love it. I think I think it's yeah. really nice. And I, uh, I believe it shuts off automatically after a minute, unless you want to uh, manually, uh, manually control it. it. Yeah. So uh, it, it's very clever. Well, the program originated in Japan and was known as the Tigers of Money. Uh, my whole life is a lie around Shark Tank. <laughs> Golly. And also, oh, who knew there were so many animal uh, <laughs> uh Oh, that's very idioms. funny. Everybody has decided that some sort of animal should be involved yeah. in this. Shark Tank, Dragon's Den, the Tigers of Money. All right. I, yeah. <laughs> the Cougars of Coin. Yeah, nice. well, we should start it for inventors who have very little money. We, for little inventions, we call it the Flea Box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Inventions ten dollars and under. Yes, that's uh -huh. that's us. Yeah. That's us. <laughs> You'll like... be itching for one of our designs. <laughs> we already have a slogan. We we already have a slogan. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and okay, you can buy them at the flea market. Uh, this is a this is an amazing. <laughs> We're I feel like there's all this uh, potential for satire that's been built up in you ever since <laughs> Mad Magazine. You can't get it out. You got to get it out somewhere. That, this is perfect. That's right. That's, that's right. Perfect. Uh, thank, thank goodness we have this outlet too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, so there you go. Uh, cycle uh, um, mag lights, uh, wing, wing lights device. with mag tech. Wait, they didn't even use the word technology. They, they should have done wing lights with, with mag, mag technology. technology. Yeah. I really yeah. like the the uh, one, uh, like the, it's a triple threat on the design. The fact that the installation is also so easy of just tighten it enough that it gets snug and then you keep tightening to make that gasket wider is perfect. I, lo yeah. I love this and product. And then just Good click these too. in and out and I believe there's also a half turn like if you're going on a mountain trail and you think it might bounce out although the magnets on these it, as a matter of fact uh, it says, you know, separate the, uh, the, uh, magnet from the handlebar and I'm pulling on it and I'm going, what did they weld these together? These don't, these don't separate. <laughs> so they, they are really magnetic. Oh, and someone in the chat room says, what kind of a handlebar, uh, what kind of a handlebar didn't have the grips? Well, the reason is, uh, since I don't have a bike, I had to buy something on Amazon <laughs> to demonstrate them. And so they had a handlebar for 20 bucks, but if I wanted hand grips, it was 30 bucks. Yeah. And since I was only demonstrating the handlebar, yeah. um, I saved myself 10 bucks. That's and, why and that every hand handlebar will be empty, just on the grips, just use an X-Acto knife to cut away the, the yeah, exactly, rubber. Exactly, and, and even, fine. yeah, I watched somebody and he said that on his handlebar, uh, there were actually two pop-out little fillers that you didn't have to cut anything. You just put a little screwdriver in there and pop them out, and then it's empty where you slide in the mechanism for this. No, very, very, very cleverly designed. So now you have to tell us about the shirt butler. Okay, is... so now we're going, I, I thought, well, first of all, what got my attention was hot air, hot air tension technology, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh. And, Oh, that is, that uh, is I was going to buy good. one until I saw it's more than a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. But I thought just watching the video, I think uh, you'll get an idea of why I'm not buying one of these. Hey, oh, but Chad, exact Oops, here you go. Go ahead, go ahead, run it. No, this is good for you to take to a convention. You were saying you need to iron shirts. Uh -huh. We'll see how totally easy. Easy, this uh, is okay. Here we go. So simple. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Hey, Denise and Zach bring you the shirt butler. One of the things we were talking about is we both hate to iron, especially. Yeah, I talk about that all the time. You know, <laughs> me, I just around the water cooler, 
God, I hate like to that. iron. I just bring that, I tell that to my hairdresser every day. Okay, here we go. The shirts because they're so hard to get the angles and the arms and the shirt butler solves that problem. Yeah, not only does it take the wrinkles out of your clothes, but it Whoa. actually dries them as well. You're actually gonna take that shirt directly out of the washing machine, put it on here, and it's gonna do both dry and eliminate the wrinkles so you're ready to wear it or hang it up in your closet. Or Could you, you show us completely? Oh, good, it, thank you. It with some water, put it on, and the wrinkles will disappear. Now, setting up the shirt butler is a breeze. All you have to do is take the extendable bar that comes with it, place it in the hole that's in the base, then you're going to want to extend it, and then clamp it down. Now, on the neck of the shirt butler, you see this hole that fits right over the rod and clips into place. Now at the bottom here, you're going to want to take the elastic band and wrap it around the base of the shirt butler. And now the shirt butler is ready to use. Now we have a wet shirt here, and it's so easy to set this up and get your... <laughs> Look everything at this. About, everything about this. I just also, we have this wet shirt here, and she just throws it at her assistant. Look now at her. we have a wet shirt here, and it's so easy get to set here. this up and get your clothes dry and wrinkle free. You just place it over the hanger and the top and it's going to dry from the base all the way to the top. Put the, the pull collar. the sleeves and through. And all you do is you put the sleeves through the arms I bet. of your shirt. It's also, and you wait 30 you minutes. turn it on. Uh, I look at, and, and then it's like a. You could use it you out in a field as a scarecrow. Is that there's a heating element this in is the base. A, Disney's going to use this as their Baymax uh, <laughs> cosplay. And a fan, which force hot air through the shirt's fabrics, drying it and eliminating wrinkles. Now this is great because you don't have to throw those delicate shirts in the dryer, and they shrink, and they end up. Chat room, damaged, think of the and price. You don't have to use harmful chemicals like you'd find in a dry cleaner. Now this particular shirt took about 10 minutes, but drying times will vary depending on how damp the garment is and what kind of material it's made of. For uh, some shirts, you might want to use the included Now you can add these. All you have to do is clip them onto the bottom of the shirt to weigh it down. Now it's not just for shirts like this. You can oh. use it on suit jackets, sweaters, long sleeve dress shirts, and you can even use it with the most delicate of fabrics like cashmere or silk. Now we did this shirt in real time and it was pretty wrinkled and pretty damp. And as you can see, it's bone dry and wrinkle free. This shirt is ready to wear. You're gonna love the shirt, Butler. It's gonna save you time, <clears> money, <throat> and no more ironing. Head over to the site and grab one today. Okay. All right, Chad, do you know the price you did? Did you no, look yet? I did not. Okay, I didn't well, do I, what's, I'm looking up at the chat room. 30 bucks, <laughs> 550 bucks, uh, 130. I'm going to guess. Uh, what, 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 what's your guess? I'm going to say it's probably, it doesn't look like there's anything in there that is just like expensive as heck to manufacture. So I'm betting that it's expensive, but not absurdly expensive. So I'm going to guess in the like, Hundred. I'm gonna guess 150. 150 bucks. Okay. Okay. And now we're getting 120, 125. Okay. Uh, suggested retail is, I believe, 200, but it is 125. Ah. At uh, let me see. Uh, it's Pulse TV has it. It's 129.99. So it's 130 dollars. But it seems so labor intensive. And it's big. Yeah. Yeah, it's biggest issue is uh, it's it, the time it takes and the and how much space it would take up. Um, I can, I can kind of understand. There's people who would rather spend 10 minutes of waiting around for a fresh shirt in the morning than... You know, it, it oh, takes okay. a while. Oh, okay. 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 You know, like oh, it takes I, a while to iron. Yeah. I guess. You know, if you if you had a house. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I would have to give up my waffle iron and my microwave if I and I would just. You'd have to give up your whole living room. If <laughs> yeah. You, uh, exactly. Uh, 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 if I uh, to press a sh one shirt a month, which is about how often I do it. Um, yeah, I mean that right, would so. be. I, I if I personally was going to use it, I would have to like. S set it on the floor in the bathroom <laughs> like that's the only place that i have maybe i could use a countertop in my b bathroom but that like i don't have a spot in my closet um yeah. maybe put it on top of the washing machine in the laundry room 
Um, Magoo says, I can iron an entire basket in the amount of time it took for them to do that. Yeah, that's the so, thing. Well, I, I guess if you know how to iron. Yeah. I mean, and like, I could see the use case. I don't think that it is, it is crazy absurd. It is a little absurd. Because it's, because <clears throat> let's say I, I work at a place that really I have to press a shirt every day. Like if I was wearing, if I went, if I worked at a place that I had to wear a suit every day and I basically have to iron my own shirt every day, I would rather, as my morning routine, take a shirt. Now, it looked like it had to be wet, so you'd take a shirt, ha, yes, dunk it and in water. Yes, and if it's not wet, you saw that yeah, they had, you, I think, a dry shirt. It. You have to take a, a spray bottle and yeah. make it wet. Yeah, so you get it. So a morning routine, wake up, pick out what shirt I want, get it wet, wring it out, throw it on the shirt butler, start taking a shower, brushing my teeth, all my other stuff. By the time that I'm done with that, hopefully the shirt is dry, and then I, c I could use it. You um, know what? I, I just <laughs> thought of a shortcut. Mm -hmm. You put the shirt on as you take a shower. There you go. When you Perfect. get out of the shower, yeah, you at a hotel, you yeah. take the hairdryer oh. and put it in your mouth. Perfect. And while you're shaving and the hairdryer is running... The I hot air it. will be going through your body yeah. and drying your shirt. I feel I like mean, there's also, you know, you could uh, just use some toothpaste as some starch, you know, just put that right, <laughs> right on the collar. It'd be great. Um, but there's starch and potato, right? So just make oh, yourself yeah. a potato hash sandwich for the morning. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So I can if see a use case, but it's slim, and it's one hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. Um, um, oh, and, and and it's still available. Compare oh. at. I was like, I'm always dubious about compare at. This is as, a, fake. as opposed this to is real completely price. Completely fake. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no reviews. I mean, <laughs> okay. No I mean, reviews. You remember, that they can print. Do you remember Baymax? I don't know if you. Baymax. Baymax. Let, let me no. see if, um, what was that? Uh, I don't know how to spell it. There we go, Baymax. You don't remember this here? Here we go. This is this is Baymax from the Disney movie. Oh, oh, oh! This is, that's, <laughs> this is the shirt butler. It's the shirt. Butler. It's the shirt butler. Oh, that's very funny. There you go. From Big Hero Six. That was the name of the movie. That, that's very funny. There you that's go. Very funny. <laughs> A superhero will dry your shirt. All right. Well, now you know that the if you want butler. something that has hot air tension technology, if you want something with just hot air technology, the Gizwiz, it's free. Yes. It's as much hot air technology as you can stand. Right. But uh, if you need hot air tension technology, then you have to turn to the shirt butler. The shirt butler. Pulse TV. Okay. Looks like okay. Um, our next gadget if you saw, it was on the Gizzards last year, but now I own one and love it. And here's the story. Okay. Let's head down to the construction Doing site. a lot of work here at Gizzyland Studio, mostly lighting. I uh, put in 20 new uh, light fixtures, and we're all set to make sure that everything is going to work when we plug in something new. So we put in a, this uh, fuse box in the cell, but we installed our own up here so we don't have, don't have to run downstairs. Uh, so get ready. We should have champagne for this. Uh, I guess it needs work. And, God, this guy helped me the entire time. <laughs> My assistant here. Uh, okay, so... If you're a fan of the Gizwiz show, and, and why would you be? Um, we had this, a viewer sent in a video about this last year for uh, one of our spots. And I wanted one so much. And last year, around Halloween, they were up to 65 bucks. I liked it, but not that much. But now that Halloween is just coming, they're back in stock uh, for 20 bucks. Okay, Home Depot has it for 20 bucks. Uh, I got it on eBay for a few bucks more because I didn't uh, have to go down to the store to pick it up. So it works two ways, okay? It comes with a little button. 
and the button is instant. So you push it, and it stops, and you push it again, and it stops. To me, using the lever is a much better way. And when I first got it, I clicked the lever up and down, and I thought, they really missed a bet not having it work with the lever. And then a little piece of paper was in the bottom of the box, and you know, we don't read instructions. <laughs> but I decided to look at it, and it turns out there's a little switch in the back. So you have to put the switch on. I think maybe it's run. And when you put that switch over there, then it runs on three double A batteries. And remember, it the box does not open. Okay, you put the batteries in through the back. I, I was <laughs> before I figured out how it worked. I was trying to open the door to look for the battery compartment. And there's a big spring in here, and it's the spring in there that makes it bounce. Uh, so that's it. Danger high voltage. <coughs> and I think we have a winner. Con Ed, you have an opening? I need one for my Tesla, uh, is what I... Oh, you do. You do. <laughs> but you can have it, have it in the trunk. I, I love that thing. Um, it, what's funny it is, is so I much better... It. The second time at Cracker Barrel. Do you know the the restaurant Cracker Barrel? Yes, yes, yes. It's a big thing in the South. So yeah, I saw one at Cracker Barrel and I was like, oh, there's that thing we covered on the Gizwiz. Yeah, I love it. It is great. And, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if this is something new, but I bought it on eBay and it said, you know, uh, three in stock, one left. And I ordered it. And then the next day I got in a thing said your your Home Depot delivery will be Wednesday and I'm thinking <laughs> huh? I, didn't, did, I didn't order anything from Home Depot. Interesting. A and it was that. And then I bought a little tensor lamp uh, also on eBay. Um $17 it said 5 left. It came from Home Depot. Interesting. Now the funny thing is it's only $2 more than it is at Home Depot. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not quite sure what the deal is. Is it cheaper? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. If they're buying it at Home Depot, are they just making $2? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I Maybe. guess. Or Home Depot is doing eBay stuff. That, um, that could be. But what, because... what threw me off was the fact it had this, uh, we had three and now we have two. It just looked like, Right. But I mean, they could have somebody who's very smart to make it look exactly like an they independent have, yeah. person yeah. doing it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess they could make two bucks. That seems kind of low. But I low, guess on a twenty dollar item that is ten percent markup, it just whoops. Yeah. <laughs> My lights went out. Oh, they're back. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot to play that power bill and the, 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 yeah. <laughs> my, oh, you need one of these. Box. One of those yes, boxes. You have my to electrical wire. box. Your electrical it's taking box. up too much power. Yeah. Well, you uh, know, I, I guess you're right. So I guess you buy it on eBay and then say it's a gift and ship to and put in my address, right? Yeah. Or the, I, or I, I still think that there's a chance that it's Home Depot because eBay. First off, a lot of people don't realize that Amazon.com has a lot of eBay-esque things that you wouldn't think is is built in. Because as a third-party seller, you can sell stuff on an Amazon page that looks like it's just coming directly from Amazon, but really it's a third party. That's why how we get all these weird white label products that are also sold on Alibaba. Um, <clears throat> And eBay is kind of always, this is a place where you sell your own stuff, you know, you find it somewhere, you sell it again. And so I think that they've been going after a more uh, new market, because eBay has kind of had a, a used market feel, is okay, I bought this thing, I'm yes, going to sell yes. it used on eBay. But eBay's been trying really hard to get into the space of, well, don't search for it on Google or Amazon. Search for it on eBay, and there'll be a new version. There'll be a used version. So just use eBay for all your shopping. So I don't. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of. Well, I guess. I guess. Did it say the seller? I guess there's a seller. Not. And the oh, you know, I didn't. Be, I, I didn't look at that. It, I didn't be, look um, at that. But both both boxes uh, came 
from Home Depot. Yeah. Because the tracking was through Home Depot. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, uh, the box I love for 20 bucks. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now that's Halloween. Don't get it on Amazon because it's. No, what, I, I, on weird, Amazon. Priced. Oh, oh, okay. Well, right now it's 25 But last time on eBay, after we showed the video, it was a warehouse video. Um, they were they were sixty five dollars on eBay. I guess they were running out of them or something, and I I just didn't. <laughs> I thought it was cute, but not sixty five dollars cute. Yeah. Uh, but they they are really. I love the sound effects. I love the clanking box. It's really very clever. Yeah, very very neat. I love it. I I love these uh, new Halloween gadgets that we're getting. They, they seem to be getting better every year with with more. <clears throat> Mechanism. Yeah, no, there's a little diagram in there if you want to hook it up to 220, <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't recommend that. Yeah, probably. I, yeah, probably I think it's idea. probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, um, awesome. Anyway, that takes us to. It is time for. Chad's. You don't need it, but, but you might want it at Chad's. Crappy corner. Get it. Oh, oh not another flashlight. <laughs> no. Oh, it okay. does produce light, though. So today we have, we're back in um, safety emergency gadget um, gadgets for the month. And so I kind of decided to do a roundup of some because none of these really felt big enough and hearty enough to do an entire gadget review of, uh, of each of these. So I have three different gadgets. These can all be, just be purchased at Walmart. Um, and I've had some experience with some of these in the past, and I just thought if you're, if you're not aware of, I, you know, I went through Boy Scouts, so there's some emergency stuff that I learned about in Scouts that some people just don't know about. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of do a um, roundup of all of these. First, starting off with an emergency whistle. By the way, I have an emergency whistle, an emergency blanket, and these really, really cool uh, matches that are strike anywhere, and I mean anywhere. So we're gonna Ooh. take a look at those last. So for the emergency whistle, uh, this is what it is. It has four built-in uh, things. It has a thermometer, obviously has a whistle. It has a compass, and it has a magnifying, a magnifier. I wouldn't technically call it a magnifying glass. Let's just go ahead and open this up. On the back is a thermometer, and this is just one of those generic, uh, I think that's alcohol in there. Let's see, what temperature does it say it is? It says that it's about uh, 60, 67 degrees in here, 67, that's, that feels about right. Also has a whistle, and then on the top there's a compass, and that is just a, you know what? I thought that that was a, um, air compass, but it looks like it's a fluid compass, so in, in, that's uh, the compass that is trapped inside of a fluid, so that'll help with it being um, a little bit easier to read, so that it's not bouncing around all over the place, but you can see it's working great with a little dial at the top to show which way you're pointing. It doesn't really have a great way to tell exact um, uh, coordinates or angle, where a more professional compass if you're actually going to do some, um, what do they call that? Mapping? Uh, there's a whole- Geo, geo fencing or geo whatever fencing, it is. Fencing, so. yeah, no. Uh, if you're gonna do cartography, uh, you, would, you would need a lot more uh, information there. But if you're just trying to just go west or south, that would work just fine. And then the magnifier is built into the side of this. I'm going to see if I can get it out. It's a little bit difficult to... Ah, there we go. There's oh, the okay. magnifier. So this, hopefully, this would be your backup solution if you didn't have any um, matches. Is You would use the sun, obviously, to catch some kindling on fire. Or if for some reason you had a map, but the words were too small, you could use this also just to magnify what those coordinates are were or anything like that. So that's kind of my uh, first gadget, is a four function whistle. Next is an emergency blanket. And these things are really, really, really good. Uh, they're super cheap. I think this one cost $3. Let me pull up my... Wow. Um, uh, they're really, really inexpensive. And they're lightweight. So lots of people, when they go um, 
hiking or camping, they'll carry an emergency blanket on them. Um, I just kind of wanted to also use this just to pull it out and actually show people uh, what these are. Let me also find my purchases and find how much this blanket cost. Uh, yeah, I was right. So this is $2.97. This is a very, very thin material and it expands a lot, like an awful lot. And this is really one time use. You'd use this once and you know, not, you wouldn't try to pack it back up to, to use it a second time. But these blankets work just like tin foil basically and they will keep your body heat inside of it. So you'll try to wrap yourself up as much as you can inside of one of these blankets and they get really, really large. There you go, that's about three feet by, I would guess six feet. So three by six. You can even, I can kind of see through it. I can see the lights on the other side of this. Um, here, let me grab my, my phone here. You can, uh, I can't really. But it's a very, very thin material. So I turn on my, my phone's light. You can kind of oh, see it, yep. barely see it. So it's a very, very, very thin material. Um, and it's made that way just so that it's, you, you'll never not pack it if you're going hiking or whatever. But you would wrap yourself up in this and this would keep you out of the wind. Uh, this would keep your body heat trapped inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit over to the side. Um, and hopefully get you through a night, a cold night, uh, if, if you needed it. And then also it's the same thing, uh, because it's so reflective, uh, it would help also with shade if you needed uh, to get the sun off of you. So there's that emergency blanket. And finally, these are super fun. These are matches. And these matches will burn anywhere. How they work is they have the head of the match, which has the chemicals to get the whole reaction started. And then all the way down the side of the match, there is still uh, the chemical stuff to keep the flame going. So these are rainproof, waterproof, even dunk proof. So I have this thing of water here and we're just gonna go ahead and light one of them. And so as I stick it in the water, it will continue to boil, and as I pull it out, oh it my will word. So these are like an like a super intense, um, you know, candle that will will never go out. You can see it's creating actually way more smoke than I intended. Um, as it gets down to the wood part, that's when uh, it'll it'll give out, so it won't stay completely unlightable uh, for the entire time. Just up until you need the do you need, the, do you need the box to strike it? Um. You know what? I can't remember. It does give you extra oh, um, strikers, okay. so, which makes me feel like you do need the box to strike. Um, burns for well, as long as you have extra strikers, that's good. Yeah. Um, let me see. What would be a good rough surface? I wish I had a rock with me, um, but I don't. Uh... I got. I got to have something around here, so, something that I can strike this on. <laughs> uh, I don't actually. I don't think I do. Who ever no? heard of a studio without a rock? <laughs> Who has a studio without a rock? Come on, this is some plastic up here. No, uh, that's about it. I have some metal over here. No. It could possibly be strike anywhere, but um, it doesn't. Normally, if it's strike okay. anywhere, it'll have a. Well, light. It, actually, you'd be outdoors, so finding a rock right. would be easy. That'd be pretty simple. Yeah. Um, normally, though, if it is strike anywhere, it'll have a white tip on the top, and that white tip is what is a strike anywhere. These don't. They do have a brown tip on the top. Um, so I can't quite tell. But anyway, these would be super nice. If you're in the middle of, the, uh, obviously the chat wet. room is saying, if you're very careful, you can strike it on a zipper. Let me, I'll do this in <laughs> private, please. Thank you. Officer, I'm no. not doing anything. I'm just trying to light my match. Yes. No, I don't think that these are. Well, I'm oh, getting okay. a fresh one just okay. in case. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
What Chad doesn't know is that these matches. Uh, no, couldn't get them. So I don't think they're striking okay. anywhere. Um, okay. So yeah, but these are very nice. Uh, you can also buy them in a container uh, that looks a lot like a film canister that's also waterproof. Although uh, these, these are pretty resistant uh, to water as well. So the price for each of these, the whistle cost me $3.97, so four wow. bucks for the whistle. Uh, the emergency blanket, $3 for the emergency blanket, $2.97. And the strike matches, the, the strike somewhere matches, uh, those are $2.97, so also $3. So some really inexpensive and very useful emergency preparedness gadgets. Um, and, so, and these are things that be nice to keep in a boat, keep in a car, keep with you as you go backpacking or hiking, or just plain old camping, because you never know uh, when you're gonna have an issue. So there you go, three, a roundup of some simple emergency gadgets uh, for Chad's crappy corner. With that, Very good. let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Fog on. Our email is from Jim Manley, who writes, Hi, Dick and Chad. Here's a video of my vintage Coleco Pac-Man game. I can't remember what year we got this, but it was bought new for my sister more than 30 years ago. Uh, everybody enjoyed playing it? And here's Jim's video. Ooh. That looks awesome. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is Jim Manley again. And the gadget I'm going to share today is uh, my Coleco Pac-Man. This was uh, considered a handheld uh, back in the day when it came out, but you can see it's it's a little more than handheld size. It's more about eight inches tall. It's what um, we would probably call a laptop size today. This was bought originally in the 80s for my sister, Janet, and uh, she kind of left it behind when, when she moved out and I kind of took possession of it at that point and I've had it for all these years. Darn um, it, Janet. Uh, this is one of um, the original arcade games uh, put out by Coleco. Uh, they also did uh, put out these handheld size versions of Frogger, Donkey Kong, uh, Galaxian, and Mrs. Pac-Man. So, um, neat little arcade type uh, game here. Um, and it has several um, modes here. Uh, uh, single player, two player, there's a, a demo and an eat and run game that you can do on this thing. It runs on four C batteries um, and it's pretty nifty and a lot of fun and um, this one actually still works. So we can fire it up, we see the the grid comes online and we can go ahead and initiate uh, the demo. And see, there she goes. That and it those keep sound for a while, effects. so I won't uh, 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 bore you too long with that. But uh, it, it does uh, fully work with the single uh, mode, the the two player mode. We've had a lot of fan, uh, fun with this in my family. Uh, it's still cool to get it out uh, sometimes, and I hope you all enjoyed seeing it. Thanks. I love that. I really wonder what technology screen that is. I guess it's LCD and... Probably. You know, it might have been very expensive back it then. It could have been. It could have yeah. been. Yeah. Um, I love that. That is awesome. That is great. This is, <laughs> I love how it's also small. It's like they didn't quite understand the portability aspect. Like, this is before Game Boy, it feels like. And yes. so... <laughs> Like, let's make it. We small can't make a so big arcade one, so let's make <laughs> exactly. one that can't just... take it in the car or or at a restaurant, but you could set it on your table at home. Yeah, um, exactly. Love it. I think that is it's great. great. Uh, Jim, thank you very much for that. You get a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman picture. So, looking for more videos, 
I think that might have been the last video we had. If you sent me a video and I haven't shown it, just remind me what it was because sometimes uh, we get so much mail it gets mislaid or misplaced your your email. So make a video one to three minutes, okay, horizontal like uh, Jim did. And put it on YouTube. You can click unlisted when you upload it so that people will not stumble on it without knowing the URL. And send it to mail at gizwith.tv. Mail at gizwith.tv. If you live in the States, you get the mad and the picture. If you live anywhere else in the world, I'll autograph a picture to you, uh, make a high res image of it, and email you that to print out no matter where you are. And they look pretty good. Uh, if you wow. print it out and hang it on the wall. Very nice. Scooter X also says that he thinks it's LED because he had the Miss Pac-Man version. Oh, that's, okay. That's interesting. Interesting stuff. Love it. Okay, let's move on to the letter. Now, our letter is from Rock, uh, uh, Mark Rennie, who works for Google, okay, and yeah. is a fan of the show. And he says, Dick, how are you? A Chromebook question, and you didn't ask me. I am a little hurt. I know. This is from, from a couple of weeks ago. We talked about <laughs> the new Acer Chromebook. In episode seven, uh, 1742, you wondered where the delete key was on the keyboard, much like the Apple keyboard, the backspace key acts as delete backward. Forward is alt plus backspace. To Chad's question of caps lock, of, of cap lock, I searched search plus alt. So there's a search you, key instead of a caps lock key. So you there is down. a search key? Okay. <laughs> you know, wait a minute. Hang on a second because I... I are yeah, you, Dick has his, uh, there it is. I, I got my so right Logitech. Right underneath that tab key is a search. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, and so you use Oh, alt. you're absolutely right. Uh, let me just pull this back a little. This is a little haphazard here because <laughs> my camera is set up for people. And so it's, and, <laughs> the computer is actually facing away oh, from you. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, so it's under the Gizwiz. Uh, right. And I see it here. Okay, so I, I do see the search key. So I learned something there. Um, then he said, if you can't remember all the shortcuts, this I can do. Hit control, alt, forward, slash. Let me do control, alt, forward, slash. Oh, okay. Oh, you there know you what? It, 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 it burns out. But basically, those are all the shortcuts. And then he ends up by saying, for fun, do control, alt, shift, refresh. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be oh, able to I, I, control, control, alt. Control, alt. Shift and, is on the other side, it looks like. Uh, shift is the chasing arrow. Oh, 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 Whoa! Oh, do a okay, barrel so roll. It does. Whatever's on the screen, it It'll does a barrel roll. Whoa, the whole screen will do it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's the browser I see. That is, oh, yeah, wow, it just keeps great. going. Yeah, that's great. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mark. I'll take that any day over uh, uh, caps lock. Who needs caps yeah, lock? Oh, right? and something else I never noticed. Oh, what? Um, la lastly, someone no one notices all the keys are lowercase. Oh, yeah. I never realized that. Did you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. No, I didn't notice it. I was just, oh, just, wow. Oh, okay. Yes. That, that's it, nice. It, it, that, yeah, so Mark. Like a uh, mobile phone, unless it's yeah. an iPhone. Yeah. But yeah. So, so we, we learned a lot. And, and Mark, thank you. I still thank you for... I don't know, was it four years ago when you got Den uh, Dennis and I invited on a tour of Google uh, in Lower Manhattan? Oh, my gosh. What an incredible place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, incredible. Very cool. Thanks, Mark, for giving us the lowdown on. Yeah. All the oh, let me go back to my uh, other. 
Uh, and by the way, um, what I'm using here is Google Capture. So it's oh. free software. And it's kind of actually, it, it, it sort of works okay uh, if you have no <laughs> no setup like Chad does. Uh, you just download the software. You must have a 722 or is, is oh, that my Google Logi doing? Logitech Capture. Uh, Logitech, I'm sorry. Uh, the Logitech Capture software. You need a 722 camera or the Brio. It only works with those cameras. Uh, you can hook two cameras up or it can be one camera and any other source. Okay. Right now I was using two cameras. But occasionally if you want to show somebody something that's uh, photos and stuff that's on your a computer, uh, set it up so that one camera is you and the other camera is the source. And they also offer, uh, insert where you can be down in the corner. Oh yeah. And there you are. Big, yeah. Yeah. And it's free. That's nice. That's okay. Nice. So just check out, uh, Perfect. Logitech capture. Thanks Mark Thanks. for letting us know, by the way, we, I'm <laughs> yeah. excited because we get to find out what the heck was it. Oh, go to it. Did you know for it? real? Now, no. I must say almost a hundred people knew what it was. Oh, wow. About 20 of them knew exactly what it was. So, hmm. so, um, I could kind of guess cause it looked like a steak and it looked like there was a way to plug in a hose. So I, oh. I kind of guessed that much. Like it was probably some type of mister or something. Uh, no, I shall go to my website because I show uh, sort the, of this is how what we it were seeing. Th that's what you were seeing because this is like a hundred percent some type of steak, and it, this definitely a steak. Look, I don't know. To be honest, I, I didn't know that what this one was. Okay, so. so now what it is? That little thing is an LED light. Uh, so when you use it as a tent steak. Uh, oh. You can aim it down at the ground, oh. and that way you won't trip over the tent lines. You can aim it down at the ground for any reason you want. Um, so that's the, what it was. That's actually and, super smart. That's it's very clever, great. isn't it? And and um, the actual one I bought is not on Amazon right now, but there's another company that's selling it with a remote control tent light. So you get four LED tent stakes and the remote control tent to light oh. for 18 bucks. Didn't get astounding reviews. Um, <laughs> yeah. But the uh, the tent light, uh, the tent stakes are very clever. That very is clever. clever. I almost want to see photos of, I wonder how bright that is. And Yeah, I... I, hmm. I, I feel like this could be remade for like the modern era and it would be great because you could like set a schedule from your phone using Bluetooth. You could turn off all the lights, like you could turn them on at dusk, but then turn off when you're ready to go to bed. Oh, that's a, yeah. I could see also because I could also see that lights pointing at your tent is kind of annoying to sleep with. <laughs> um, but obviously you need them on at some point during the night so that you can see your, your uh, tent, uh, tent lines. I yeah. like that a lot. I had so no to, idea. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. So go to the cute, clever answers, and I'll, I'll read a couple of them. Point fit. Here we are. Uh, so we, we got, as I said, the most the most uh, people ever guessing an answer. Was, no, the, the, the second most ever, because the very first contest I did, I don't know how many, 12 years ago, whatever it was, um, I was very new <laughs> to working on a website. And I labeled the photo as the answer. <laughs> so you, you that, roll over the photo and it says. It, it would say what it was. And, and someone <laughs> finally, someone said, Dick, why don't you rename the photo? Because yes. you're giving me, okay. But That's now that funny. I do, not only do I not do that anymore, I also do the Google photo search. Yes. Yes. Because a couple times uh, I didn't turn the picture enough. Yes. That they did a, a photo search and got the answer. You cheating people. Yes. Um, yes. So just go to the clever uh, answers. Uh, you you won that issue of Mad Magazine. And um, a water sprinkler for kids. I got a lot of those answers. Yeah. Uh, steak mold for young vampire hunters. <laughs> the only one that I could do, but there were a lot of like way out answers. Uh, Fisher Price Proctologist Kit. 
That was that's that was the most friendly. That is very funny. Family friendly <laughs> of those. Uh, a banana four way splitter was is a very funny idea. Uh, a golf and I love this too. A golf tee for the person who loves to overcomplicate things. <laughs> <laughs> this this is if micro this would be if Microsoft made a golf tee, uh, th- this is what it would be. Um, a tap for collecting sap from a maple tree. It almost could be that. Yeah. Um, and, and Becky sent in a, a way to spike watermelons uh, with alcohol, the alcohol of your choice. <laughs> um, so anyway, I love so it. part of the, the the fun of of the what the heck is it is if you don't guess what it is. Uh, make up something silly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. now we have a new October, uh, September, October game, and that's what that is. Okay. Uh, this is ob- You know, Dick. I'm sorry. But this is just too obvious uh, for me. Yes. Um, it's so uh, right here, right in front of me. Okay, I have a keyboard, and on the back, there's these little wings that help. Uh- you know. Ke- Keep the keyboard up. Oh, and apparently, I... <laughs> uh oh, I broke. I broke something. Are we back? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was frozen for a minute. Are we back? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think I destroyed a camera. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and my face, very, very nice in that camera. Uh, but anyway, it's one of those. It's those wings, but for really, really tall people, so that uh, oh, if you're, okay, if you're at okay. a standing desk or sitting down. It's a keyboard wings, so that um, you can reach the reach the keyboard if you want. Uh, uh, good. Send, it, send it in. There you go. Co- co-hosts can enter. It's not like those other contests where members of the staff and employees <laughs> cannot enter. Exactly. Dennis gets mad if uh, you don't pick him for the winner. Definitely. <laughs> Um, well, if I if I don't pick him, he just comes down and takes a copy when I'm <laughs> exactly, exactly when I'm at a at a PR exactly. event or something. So there are six Mad magazines for winners, twelve mag, mag, Mad magazines for losers, for people who answered clever, interesting, and funny answers. So get a guessin over at gizwiz.biz. Just scroll down and click on the "What the heck is it?" game, and this is the whole gadget, not just a piece or a part. This is the entire gadget. Um, and I'll, I'll say flat out right now, I literally have no idea what that is. Okay. So, okay. um, so there you go. No, I'm I glad guess. you said the whole thing. I always love it when someone mails me something and I, uh, and they say, what is it? And I go, you know, I'm going to use this because I can't, I cannot guess what it is. What is it? And they said, uh, it's the part of a table that holds the lip on to where you put in the extender board. <laughs> yeah. And you're going, mm, no. not <laughs> Why to what yeah. the it is a what the heck is it? But yeah. it's it's a what the heck is could anybody possibly yeah. guess that? That is great. So hey, get a guessing over gizwiz.biz. Also, don't forget about the meetup September 29th. <laughs> oh, and, it's back to that date. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> it changes all the time. Uh, no, it hasn't changed at all. No, uh, it hasn't changed. At all. Please, uh, if you need more information, head on over to gizwiz.biz. Biz, click on Dick's blog and log and find out more information there and also email if you're going to join us. See you there. Uh, don't forget to uh, become a patron <laughs> at patreon.com slash gizwiz. That is where you can support the show. Thank you so much to everybody who supports the show right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for supporting the Gizwiz. You guys are incredible, so thank you so much. If you enjoy the Gizwiz, please consider giving back, patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or if you wanna give one time or wanna give outside of Patreon, you're gonna head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link where you can support the show there as well. Thank you so much. Speaking of our website, gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live. Remember that there is a schedule change next week. We will be on Tuesday instead of on Thursday. Anytime we do have a schedule change, it'll be at the top of the website in a nice banner for you to follow along with. Also on the website is where you can subscribe to our show or catch previous episodes. So please do that at gizwiz.tv. That about wraps it up for this episode of The Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.